Hey, how's everybody doing today? Uh, Steve Guttenberg here, and I am the Audiophiliac. Wait, no, that's not it. Uh, I've been watching too many of those. Anyway, <laughs> Clint the Audio Guy here, uh, back with some audio content for you. Um, today I want to talk about something, a common misnomer. I hear this a lot, and I see it on uh, audio forums all the time. Um, the question always comes up, what's the most important component in your hi-fi system? And uh, everybody has a different opinion. You know, some say speakers, some say amps. But again, a lot of people, I, I see a lot of people going, oh, the source is number one. Uh, and they say, garbage in, garbage out. That's, that's the saying I always hear. Everybody sticks to that one. So the idea is that the source is the most important component, and it, um, if you start with a good, a good signal, then as it goes through the preamp and the amp all the way to the speaker, it's going to still sound good. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is wrong. That is incorrect. Um, the, the fallacy here is garbage in, garbage out. So they're assuming that the source is bad. Um, the thing is, uh, with digital sources nowadays, you get a heck of a lot of a good source new for $349, um, which, is, which is cheap in a hi-fi system. So um, I, there was one guy that, um, one guy said that you should spend 50% of your entire system cost on your CD player and uh, the rest amongst all the other components, the preamp, the amp, the speakers, the cabling, the rack. And uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, this, this the guy probably has, unfortunately probably doesn't have the greatest sounding system or he doesn't have a system he could have. So um, on, my last, on my last system or before I updated, I had, it, you know, if you saw that one, you'd notice that I had a $199 Blu-ray player. Um, actually, DVD player. I can take that back. This is before Blu-ray. Sounded great. I'll tell you, the difference to this one, this, this player is about four grand in the U.S. The difference, uh, you, almost can't even, you almost can't even hear it. Uh, that's, that's what's kind of crazy. Especially if you're running digital out from your source to your DAC. Uh, if you're doing that, all you're using your source for is a transport, and it's just gotta get those ones and zeros there. So, um, I, I, had a, I had one customer who um, came in, he was looking at speakers, looking at amps and everything, and then he, then he found a CD player somewhere. Oh, I got this one CD player. I'm like, okay, yeah, that'll be plenty. You know, it was like a $2,000 CD player or something. That's like, that's plenty. Uh, for a CD player, uh, for his budget, his budget's let's say ten thousand dollars, two grand's a healthy chunk to put on a CD player. Um, the uh, the next time I saw him, he didn't buy anything. Came back in to listen to speakers again. The next time I saw him, he sent that CD player out to get hot rotted, to get modded. So they go and they replace all the capacitors. They swap out some tiny little wires inside from the power supply. Now they're like silver plated and whatever. And it comes back sounding like that much better, right? $4,500 for the mods. And it's like, oh, it's supposed to sound like $25,000 CD player. That's, of course, that's what the mod company tells them. Uh, now, now he's got, you know, $5,000 left for his $10,000 system to buy all the important stuff. Uh, now, I'll tell you, the most important thing in a system is the mechanical thing. It's the thing that can be compromised the most. So that would be the speaker. Uh, the speaker determines the sound of your system. All the electronic components upstream uh, just give you all the other stuff. So um, the sensitivity and the difficulty and the impedance profile and uh, difficulty to drive your speaker will determine your amplifier choice. Uh, your amplifier determines how well your speaker is driven. Uh, the preamp controls 
It has a lot to do with your sound staging and the low level noise floor. So we'll talk about that stuff more. I'm going to do another video on budgeting out for a system. And the rules can be broken, but uh, if, if you're going to spend 50% on anything in your system, it should be your speaker. Um, I did not do that here, um, but um, uh, we'll discuss that more in another video. So anyway, source, small importance. Now, I will give you a caveat um, when it comes to the mechanical source, uh, vinyl, um, then source becomes a little bit more important, um, but still it's not the most important thing. It's still speaker. Uh, source like $500 gets you a lot of CD player, like the Marantz uh, 6000 and CD 6006. Great CD player, saw that one at an Pone in $200,000 systems. And nobody could tell that it's a $600 source or $500 source. Um, to get that same level of performance in vinyl, you probably need to shoot up to more like $1,500. Uh, because it is mechanical and it requires more... Uh, more precise hard more precision let's say to get the detail out of the grooves so anyway hope that answers that uh please don't go nuts on the sources as it comes to streaming they're all pretty good too um i mean there's some that are better than others but speakers number one we'll talk about the other stuff in another episode thanks for watching and uh we'll see you guys on the next one have a good one